What's going on guys, this is Dunn from 12V Mods. Um, this is just a little video that I want to actually post up for any of you uh, Trail Finder, uh, RC 4 wheel drive Trail Finder 2 guys. Um, I know a lot of you, uh, probably a lot of you guys have gone to steel drive shafts on the Trail Finder 2, but for me, I rather have the drive shafts as a, at least a weak point, so I'm not breaking axles and breaking the internals on them. Um, these axles here, I have actually only have taken them apart to re-grease them twice. And I've had these axles for a total of three, four years now? Three years? I'd say three years. Um, they take a beating um, and they just keep on going. Uh, they haven't worn out on me yet, so... Uh, knock on that. The only modification I've done to the front axle is if you actually look um, I actually did the bearing mod uh, But I did bind a little bit different so the actual screws are actually flush So they don't get bind and knocked out and scraped and you know Ruined so you can't get them back out or anything, but uh, it Takes the slop right out of the actual steering as you can see how it floats really nicely um, No slop at all as you can see, sorry, you can barely, you can barely see it, but uh, I do have a video on my YouTube of doing this mod, uh, so you can go check it out. But the main reason why I did this is about the drive shafts. As you can tell, um, I'm running the uh, new version axial drive shafts on this, and the reason why I did this is because I wanted to be my weak point, like I said earlier. Now you have to do some modifications to them and everything else and some people have complained about them binding up or um, they keep popping out or whatever so what I've done is as you can see um, my rear four link has been is longer than stock because I'm actually running a Toyota Tundra body on this but uh, if you actually look let's see if I can do this once I start to flex you can actually see the shaft moving in and out now the reason why it's doing that, and if I go like this, it'll actually move back and forth. But if I go like that, and I start to move it, you can actually see it start centering itself again. Now the reason why it does that is actually inside these tubes, I've actually stuck springs in them. Uh, on this side and this side. So what happens, this will always stay pretty much near center. So no matter how much the length you actually do, this will stay center and then this shaft will always stay strong and still have flexibility. I did the same thing to the front. So here's the front. See, moves. Same with the pushing it back. But yeah, see, it centers itself. Now the main reason why I did this is because when I first just ran these shafts um, and the way I cut them, it, they would bind. And it was really annoying. I couldn't figure it out. And then one day I was like, you know what? What happens if I put springs on both sides to make them center? And that's what I did. And I've been running on these shafts right now for, I would say, a total of a month and a half since I did this. And I have not had any problems at all with these shafts at all. I have not replaced them yet. Not once. Um, now, I did have to do some modifications to the truck to actually fit these shafts on so I actually had to cut I'll pop this off I actually had to cut and trim the end of this on both axles and on the transfer case now as you can see it popped out but if you actually look inside see there's a spring in them and I just cut the spring to to the amount of adjustment I needed and there we go but yeah you can see like see it pushes out all by itself. And I'm going to try and slide this back in with one hand. It's not going to be too easy. Oh, there it goes. So it slid in. And then there you go. Boom. See? Now the other thing, the main reason why I did this is just let's say, you know, when you're driving down the trail and everything else. And your set screw comes out. Well, that makes your axle come flying out too. Well, this way... As you can see, the drive shaft will actually stay pressurized and stay against 
the drive shaft or the transfer case so it won't come flying out so that's another reason why it's kind of handy to do this but uh yeah um i thought i would share it with you guys it's a real simple mod all you need to do is find some springs that will actually fit inside of this uh unfortunately for me i'm very fortunate i have tons of these uh these uh, little things that I do for automotive lighting. So these things here, they're uh, for uh, automotive lighting. So if you have those little fuse style bulbs, these are spring loaded. What I do is I just pull them apart and I took these springs and these springs actually fit right inside of this. Um, so uh, I, I couldn't really tell you where to get these because it's just something I use for my business. So I get through supplies of that stuff. But I have a whole pile of them. So if you guys are having a hard time trying to find springs for this and you guys want to do this mod, um, hit me up, you know, send me a couple bucks and I'll be gladly to mail you a couple, uh, uh, four of these for your axle conversion if you want. Um, I don't have too, too many, but... Uh, just, you know, doesn't hurt to ask me if I have any extras, and if I do, then, you know, I'm more than happy to send you some. Because, uh, you know, this is just RC stuff that, you know, we do for fun and everything else. And if I can help another guy solve a problem, because, you know, again, these Trail Finders 2s, the, the stock drive shafts suck on these things. But, like, again, I've been running these, and they've been running perfect for me, and I've been just converted to this modification like i said for a couple months now and honestly it's the best modification i've done to my trail finder so far uh besides the steering bearing mod that i did but uh other than that you know everything else is completely stock and it runs super strong i'm still on the original bearings because like you know as long as you maintain your rig and everything else you won't have any problems with that but yeah all right guys uh, until the next video